Hey guys, Mr. Air Fusion here from this very scenic location at the New York Comic Con. I just got out of the Dragon Ball special panel. I am not dressed as a Dragon Ball character. I am actually dressed as Claire from Super Lesbian Animal RPG. So don't think this is some new exclusive character from Dragon Ball because it's not. Um, but everybody uh, wanted to know what was going to happen here. There have been a lot of rumors flying around. So I wanted to check in and talk about what I saw today. So a lot of the stuff was a lot of video game updates. I don't play a lot of the video games, but if you're interested in that kind of stuff, well, there is uh, updates to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and the Breakers. Uh, the collectible card game has a new digital component, apparently. Um, and, oh, there's a, there's a Sandland video game coming out, another one of Toriyama's works. Uh, there is, they made an announcement for an Ultra HD release of Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z's Sorry, Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. Still love that name. Love the movie. Name's a little bit hard to roll off the tongue. But there is also a 10th anniversary theatrical rescreening of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. And it's going to be the extended cut this time around. I don't think I've ever actually seen the extended cut, I've, even after all this time. Uh, but that is not why everybody was here. There have been a lot of rumors swirling around about a new series called, supposedly called Dragon Ball Magic which supposedly was GT-esque and that it featured a kid Goku and a kid Kaioshin going off to uh, have grand adventures. Um, and it turns out that is more or less true. Um, the, the name is Dragon Ball Daima. Um, and I can certainly see why people were seeing that as Dragon Ball magic because, you know, Daima, Daima, oh, great demon king. The kanji for Ma is also the kanji for magic, is in Majin Buu, magical being Buu. Um, but uh, they are clearly going for the more evil, demonic um, reading of that kanji. They, they said in the, in the panel uh, that it was supposed to mean a great evil. So, um, but, but yeah, definitely a, uh, definitely the, the pipeline from Dragon Ball Magic to Dragon Ball Daima, it's clear this is meant to be the same thing. Primarily because of the content, which is not just a kid Goku and a kid Kaioshin. Everybody is a kid. This is, it is literally a Muppet Babies type, uh, you know, type plot line. Uh, well, at least scenario. Plot line, I'm sure it'd probably be different. Um, but yeah, some kind of wish or hijinks happens and literally everybody becomes a child. Goku's a child, Vegeta's a child, um, Yumo is a child, Yamcha, Oolong, and they're even baby Goten and Trunks. Um, so yeah, people who had their, their ears to the ground on this one more or less did get it right. It's supposed to start airing um, in 2024, uh, everybody was saying it was supposed to be exclusively, or Dragon Ball Magic was going to exclusively be a web series. I don't recall them making that specification, so I don't know if that part is actually true or not. Um, they just said it was going to start, uh, start airing next year, 2024, which is the 40th anniversary of when the first chapter of the Dragon Ball manga came out. Um, it came out in November of 84, in case you don't know. Um, and uh, Ioku Akio, the executive producer, was there and shared a message from Toriyama, Toriyama-sensei. Um, and the one thing that stuck out in my mind from that letter, uh, because most of it was just restating what they already said in the trailer, in the announcement about what the premise was, uh, but it very specifically ended with the phrase, battles that are, quote, cute and powerful. And as someone who loves the cute stuff in Dragon Ball, I, am, I was really happy and pleased to see that. Um, it is funny, I was definitely, I was, there was a huge line to get in here. Um, I was waiting for like an hour to get into the panel in the first place, and I was behind some other people, all of whom were like, oh, the Dragon Ball magic stuff isn't real, and if it is, I'm gonna hate it, so. Uh, so, so there we go, it turns out that it is more or less the rumors were more or less true if you've been following them. There is going to be a new Dragon Ball series next year, 2024, called Dragon Ball Daima. And they were very insistent that you remember that name, Dragon Ball Daima, Daima. Um, so if, if that was something you were looking forward to, and I admit I kind of was, uh, this is very exciting. If you were somebody who wanted another 
you know, Dragon Ball Super or think that this is a rehash of Dragon Ball GT, then this might be a little disappointing. Um, but as for me, I'm just, I'm excited and I love the phrase cute and powerful. Uh, the designs are very, very cute. Oh, actually, I gotta, I should show this off because they did give out some merch. The t-shirt includes um, the design for Goku on the back. And here, here that is. And yes, it is, it is very much, it is very adorable. Uh, he looks amazing. He is, uh, Toriyama's note said he was going to be using the Nyoibo again. Um, also got this pin, also has the cute little young Goku in it. So I, I'm always a fan of, of the younger version of Son Goku. So uh, very, I, I don't know, it might be, it might end up being a rehash and I never like, you know, the Dragon Ball doesn't seem to be moving in new directions, but I, I can't help but be at least cautiously optimistic about this. It just, it looks fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, so that's it. I'm not, I don't usually do these kind of guerrilla style videos. I'm usually much more of a scripted person. If you watch me, you know that. So I'm gonna do, do my best to not start rambling now. I've pretty much given you all the information. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you are new to this channel, I do scripted Dragon Ball reviews called uh, Dragon Ball review series called Dragon Ball Dissection, which is currently covering Dragon Ball GT. Coincidentally enough, if you think this is like Dragon Ball GT, well, I have been giving it a thorough review and analysis over the past year or so. Um, I also do a series called Mighty Morphin Shoe Rangers, which is comparing uh, Super Sentai to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And uh, yeah, I, I release a new video every other Monday, so please subscribe and like and comment. And what do you think about this new series? Uh, what do you think about uh, about the rumor mongering being true? Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about this. Hope you are too. And I'm going to get back to my other uh, convention panels I want to see. And plug and have lunch because I am really hungry. Yeah, it's it's like two o'clock, uh, and I haven't had lunch yet. So I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.